Alright everybody, just going to do a uh, quick rundown here. Um, level 19, just running some quests, trying to get level 20. Just wanted to give you guys a quick peek at the stats that I'm running and all that. Uh, just wanted to do a little more other uh, gameplay Dosha video. A a treasure of some. Dosha knew of this place and so a Dosha kidnapped our and, uh, We'll run through some stuff and uh, let you guys watch some gameplay and I'll try and do some commentary while we're uh, while we're playing here. You can see I'm running the Zygor guide. It's actually uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, it makes you skip a lot of content and I don't really care for that, but uh, I'm having one issue where I keep out leveling the, uh, the or I'm under leveled for the area that I'm in um, I'm not sure if that's just par for the course or if I'm because it's accounting for the uh, the rings of Mara or whatever they're called that allow you to marry another character and get increased experience if they've just accounted for that I haven't done that with this character so that may be why I'm under leveled Oh, we're just gonna run down here. Thought I saw something. There we go. Lock him down, knock him down, and he's dead. Um, I was looking at the board. You could probably use if you're just soloing content like this. Um, you could probably switch out ransack with crippling slash. Just. For personal preference, um, I still like ransack for what it gives you. If you watch the scrolling text, um, proves my theory earlier um, that bash does more damage than a regular melee attack. Um, I was actually watching a video from. Uh, forget the guy's name but it's uh, Dredge Forge Gaming and uh, he's got some information out there it's pretty good he has a, a, a different theory on on tanking than I do but it just goes to show play style where in this game you can have so many different play styles and you can build your character accordingly to really allow that unique customized experience um, and still be successful playing a completely different style character than what uh, what the, the guy next to you is playing um, and both of you just be equally successful like I said uh, me and him have different stats and uh, different priorities uh, I go more survivability he's got survivability and tank I'm not saying he's wrong I'm not saying I'm right I'm just saying I respect his opinion and uh, he's got some good information I encourage you guys to watch his videos too uh, don't take my word as gospel watch his videos watch my videos and uh, draw what you like out of it and uh, come up with your own character um, it, like again we're not affiliated with them as of yet may reach out to them and uh, see if we can't do something later but uh, as of right now we're not affiliated with anybody we're just beer and peanuts gaming um, and they are dredge forge gaming um, but anyway that was a long tangent to get to the point that uh, in one of his videos he also proves the theory that that I stated where bash does more damage than a, uh, a normal attack however I haven't heard anyone confirm be able to confirm yet that my theory on bash holding aggro um, it may just be because of the increased damage that it deals that uh, allows you to to get more aggro off well, that game lagged right there in a second but um, Either way, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I think at this point right now, I'm just going to cut out commentary and uh, <clears throat> let you guys just watch some gameplay footage. I just wanted to get that out there for a minute and uh, let you guys enjoy watching how the gameplay goes. Um, as you can see, nothing's really affected me uh, I was just in this area leveling and picked up this quest uh, right now 
Uh, one of the mobs was only level 15. That may be why it's a little easy. I'm only level 19. I've actually been under leveled, like I said, for the area that I'm in. Um, which just means you have to uh, play smart. I can't just dive in and expect to survive if there's five, six mobs around. But one, two, sometimes three mobs is nothing. And you don't really get a whole lot of uh, group mobs yet in the game. Yeah, see, this guy's only level 15. And you just, this, at this point it's not even a challenge in here, um, just running the quest to see what it is. Now the boss fight may be completely different, um, you may really whoop my butt, you know, but as of right now, no, I haven't had to hit the panic button yet, which I'll go ahead and touch on. Um, why I'm going to replace Stone Fist, even though I use Stone Fist a lot with Inhale. If I can find me a safe spot to stand real quick. Alright, we'll bring it up. Uh, inhale. It absorbs 20% health from each nearby energy after 2.5 seconds. It deals magic damage to nearby enemies. It is a damaging ability where we can put damage out and it also heals us that's why I'm choosing inhale over stone fist and over razor armor um, I've given it some debate on whether or not to put razor armor in this I just don't see us needing it with magma armor if you are going to use the dragonite standard as your ultimate then razor armor um, would be a viable option to to fill this slot but when I'm using corrosive armor here I mean it caps my incoming damage so not saying I don't care what my defense is but for 12 seconds I don't have to worry about it um, and then with green dragon blood uh, oh, excuse me a uh, an argument can be made for green dragon blood or coagulated blood um, Again, you're not going to use this unless you need to heal. You're not just going to run in and pop coagulated blood. So, again, with corrosive armor, I don't really need coagulate, coagulated blood. Excuse me, I'm walking all over that word right now. Because I've used corrosive armor, it's going to cap my damage anyway. And it reduces the damage of my nearby enemies. Um, I just like this because it lets me get my stamina up, lets me do more ransacks, lets me do more bashes, lets me block more damage, damage mitigation. Um, again, if you go Ardent Flame and use Dragon Knight Standard for your ultimate, then Coagulate, coagula yeah, the other one, Coagulate the Blood, would be a good fit there as well with the uh, Razor Armor. Uh, it'll make you pretty tanky. I just a lot of my tankiness comes from the ultimate. I like to be able to jump in there and pop cooldowns and not get hurt. Make my healer's life easy. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna get back to some gameplay here and uh, try and keep this video short. It's getting a little long now. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll probably just pull up the actual boss fight at the end video that so you guys don't have to watch me run through this whole dungeon uh, so I'll be right back when I get to the boss at the end of the dungeon alright guys once again uh, just finished that little dungeon the uh, <laughs> the end content was not worth uh, a video it was just some little steam powered golem that died in like five hits not worth putting out a video for. Um, just wanted to give you guys some gameplay. Uh, again, I was able to get level 20 in there. You know, I'm not the highest level person in the game. Just pitching ideas to you guys. Uh, there's my stats. You can see my armor is not overcharged. That's another issue when you go to your skills. Is that uh, if you got razor armor and your armor is heavily overcharged, you're not going to get as. It's not going to be as effective as if your armor is not overcharged. I just haven't, I've just been running quests lately, haven't upgraded my items yet. 
so uh, nothing big there um, again same skills uh, that I've been running uh, like I said uh, by all means check out my video check out uh, Dreadforge Gaming they got some good videos out um, they got a little different view on uh, on how to tank like I said nothing wrong with that pull information from my video that you agree with his video that you agree with come up with your own build um, that's what makes the game so special I uh, just wanted to put a little outro out there for you guys before I, uh, I ended this video and uh, just say good luck man and uh, by all means hit me up comment section subscribe see more videos coming out gonna have a lot more coming out um, gonna hit other platforms too so just uh, hit me up let me know what you think and uh, any suggestions on what you want the next video to be and uh, again bad day beer and peanuts gaming hope to see you guys in game if you're part of the Daggerfall Covenant, hit us up. We're uh, Beer and Peanuts Guild. Um, somebody's always on, so just hit us up and uh, look for an invite. All right, later.